So the honey drift maze of age pulses the nude immensity of sky beyond him or you or I, who has known stronger things and loves. I see where bridge becomes Brooklyn and you become me. And that's a great ending. Um, and uh, it, it, in a sense, this, this poem about the bridge, you could say is a more distilled version of Hart Crane's The Bridge. And I would argue that there's probably not in its, whatever it is, two and a half, three and a half pages, four and a half pages. Uh, it's four and a half pages. It's, it's probably greater poesy per line, per page than Crane's The Bridge. But there again, you're talking about the difference between length and, and, and greatness in, in length versus greatness distilled. This is as great a poem about the Brooklyn Bridge as the bridge, but it may not be as great a work simply because of its relative brevity, even though it's, by any definition, a long poem. Yes, you could probably take this poem and set it against any of Crane's individual poems in the bridge, and this would be the better poem. But, as, as you were saying, the length of the bridge is too great to surmount for a poem that is, uh, what is this? This is five or six pages, it's not. Yeah, five, four and a half pages, I guess. So. 